Hi everyone, this is here, the Master Healer, coming to you guys with a quick um, um, explaining you guys on, on five ways to prevent yourself from, from getting spiritually attacked or losing your money or getting a hex thrown at you. Um, it could be from, from anyone. It could be in a relationship. It could be somebody you just met. Um, this is five tips, five easy tips on how to prevent yourself from getting spiritually attacked from, from either um, somebody closest to you because most of the times uh, most people always get spiritually attacked from the people closest to you not even the enemy it's a person close to you the person um, people most of the time the person close to you is the ones that always hating on you always want to be like you um, they want what it is they have they want you they see you have a nice car nice home you have a nice husband or if you have a nice wife um, somebody will always want to take what it is you have you as a person have to be able to be smart enough and to be to be able to be um, intuitive enough in order to um, learn to be discerned in order to, to, to know when somebody around you is not right and half of the times as i say you know especially in this day and age um it's not i don't believe in best friends um, um anymore because we live in a different world um, it have few people you can call your friends, but when coming to say best friends, um, people have to earn that. You know, you can't just um, because somebody's skinning and laughing with you all the time, and and I was getting a plastic smile. That that is really a best friend because most of the time, as I say, after all the years, you know, especially when you and that person went to school together, you used to grow up, and you end up being more uh, more successful than the other person. Most of the time, that person just be and again jealous. They feel some type of way. They feel like if you, um, you you owe them something now, but you put in all the work, but they just want you to just um, help them. They want to come crying. They want you to um, to just help them. So you have to be careful, and um, you have to be careful who you're bringing in your home. You have to be careful who you're lending money to. You have to be careful who you're eating from. Um, and don't let other females come in your home. You have to be careful all these things. So you have to be careful um, who, who you're doing business with, all these things. So I would say the first the first tip, what I would tell people straight up, one of the first tips is um, do not lend people money. Um, especially, you don't want to lend people money who you know in your heart is not going to pay back. And especially somebody that's who you're going competition with let's say you and somebody maybe in the barber shop let's say you guys cut in here in a barber shop i just say oh you're a hairdresser so you guys are hairdresser and you the barber or you the hairdresser always um you making more money that you the one that you always notice in, in one barber shop or here or, or, or hair salon it always have one person be making more money than everybody else in the shop it always had our one person will be making the most money right everybody eyes will always be focused on the one who's making the most money all the time most people in the shop or the hair saloon will be counting that person money all the time oh i just joined that as a reference you know you don't have to be a barber shop or saloon but i'm just putting that out there so everybody will always be counting your money watching watching that so let's say if you're a barber you have the first chair in in um in in, in the barber shop Oh, you are hairdresser. You got the first chair. Oh, ladies come in. They, they, your name ringing. You, your styles are hot. Um, everybody eyes on you. You have to be extra careful. So most of the times, let's say if you um, have a friend and you're the one that always making money. Some people are just lucky with money. Sometimes some people um, might just be blessed, you know, to always have money. Maybe the time, the time they're born, the month. Maybe they come from a family of um, people that been blessed with money and it runs in the family DNA you know, that a hustler spirit you know they have that entrepreneur spirit so everybody's different you know not everybody's meant for business so you have to be extra careful because a lot of times sometimes when you lend people your money people can take your money and sour your money I'm not gonna tell you guys what what, what they normally do but people um will do certain things to sour your money and if you notice sometimes you guys might be in a barber shop or hairdressing saloon or in a business um you don't lend people money especially when you go in competition 
because your competition will always try to hurt your money because remember you're making a lot of money money brings jealousy bring envy bring problems you know what i'm saying huh? especially if you're making money every week day in day out you're driving a nice car you got a nice home you got a nice woman um you're a woman you, you got a nice man you got everything going for you that is a problem to some people so what some people will normally do they will they will come and ask you um yes jane can i borrow some money from you they don't really need the money now but they just want to hurt your money they will take your money and sour your money so these are the things you do that's why you don't lend money and um you don't lend money after 6 p.m most jewish people most indian most certain people from certain culture they don't lend money after 6 p.m most most real money lenders do not do business after 6 p.m and they'll start business after um like after sunset i mean um sunrise so and they don't do business um after 6 p.m sunset time so that don't happen so you, you gotta be careful when you're lending money and whenever you're lending money you make sure yes the, the person sign a contract i always tell people that don't go no handshake like, like them old days especially for us black folks we don't like to pay back money black folks don't like to pay back money i don't care what we do not like to pay back money just something with us we don't like to pay back money um hands down so a white person ain't gonna be coming and asking um a black person for money borrow like that very rare that has happened um it is not gonna happen other races ain't gonna come and ask no black person for no money borrow so most of the time the person if you're black um if you're a black person out there most of the time the black person will always come to ask the next black person for the money it's not gonna be a white person or anything like that because a white person coming to a black person to ask for the money because it's gonna be a lot of shame and a lot of pride um and that's not happening so straight up so so do not lend people money especially a competition and if you're lending money sign a contract make sure and sign a contract with a person and do not take back any money in peace peace whenever i see people giving you back money peace peace your money will start to go down down the road you will never see your way never see where the money go um you don't do that make sure to sign a contract and um number two don't let your friends um especially this one is for females in particular um it's, it's some for males too but but especially females um because most of my clients are 95 percent females anyhow so a lot of times um most of the messages might be for females some of the time but sometimes i like to um say for the men if i would say for men and women but this one is particular for women do not because women hate each other women can't stand each other i'm telling you straight up women hate each other and they can't stand each other they they'll always be going competition with each other um so for women do not let your girlfriends or or, or your, your people closest to you like that especially friends now you know you all you all trying to do the same thing you're trying to come up do not let your, your friends and them come in your main bathroom your main um bathroom because a lot of times you find a lot of people just have the hair brush all the things with the dna in the bathroom and your toothbrush your different things like that and especially hair your hair is what people can send you crazy i try to tell you that i try to tell you guys that i've been trying to peep you guys game i've been telling you guys a lot of these entertainers you see them saying that mental health a lot of them is witchcraft i've been telling you that and i mean you see videos i'll be dropping soon telling you about um witchcraft and um a lot of some of these people have been spiritually cancelled a lot of big name artists you see that with lauren hill you see that when she cut off all her hair she was going crazy that's she was spiritually attacked you see that with um britney spears she chopped off all her hair she was getting spiritually attacked and you see it lead to mental health so that is one of the reasons why you don't let people come in your any in, in your bathroom in your, in any main bedroom especially now if you're in an apartment you have one bathroom that's different we do is that if you have friends coming over like that you haven't guessed you take out all your personal stuff out of your bathroom hide it away you don't want things with your dna people get your dna they can hurt you they can crash you they can take it here take it and put it in a cemetery to um go to somebody and do some kind of ritual and send you crazy your head i always tell you that don't be careful with your dna your dna your hair your hair people get your hair that's it it's a wrap i told you that for a lot a lot of you guys people people the people closest here some people will pay people pay somebody close to you to destroy you you know what i'm saying 
So that's why you see I don't believe in best friends. I don't have certain people come certain parts of my home. So that's what you do. For instance, like I'll have somebody come to clean my home, but I don't let them come and clean my master bedroom. They clean any certain parts of the home. That's certain rooms, my office. Um, well, most of the time now with COVID-19, I do all the cleaning. But I say that like before COVID, I would have people come and clean, but they would never, never let them come and clean in my master bedroom. You know what I'm saying? Or my office, or my main office area, where I um, do business and, and stuff with clients. They don't come in, you don't let them, they're off limits. No family members. I don't have family members come in, in that room. Not even my mom, nobody. So that's how it is. So you don't let um, people come in your master bedroom. If they get it here, they get a DNA, they get a toothbrush, they get certain things like that. Some people try to come use a bath. Um, don't keep anything in a half bath. If people have homes, this is a message for people who have homes and stuff. You have more than one bathroom. Um, be careful letting people come in um, a bathroom because they can hurt you with your DNA. They use your DNA and hurt you. They could take stuff, put it in a cemetery, go by somebody and do a lot of bad um, work. As I say, my job is to clean people's lives up. So I have a lot of people that come to me with problems like that. And I is the one that do all the cleanup work. I don't do any bad work. Don't come to ask me to break up anybody, to tap anybody's husband, to mash up anybody's home. I don't do that. I only do prosperity work, help you get jobs. I, I, you see the description on my YouTube and this YouTube channel. Um, I only do spiritual work for jobs, promotion, um, matchmaking for love, um, um, entity extraction of the home, and um, curse removal. These are the kind of things I do, and, and, um, and somebody's been bullying. If you've been bullied on a job, then they come see me. Those are the things that I specialize in and more. But I love those um, six things that I like to do um, more than anything else. Also, um, the next thing too, I try to tell a lot of clients too. Like, let's say you're making a business card. This, this, is, like a old, this is an old business card I have. I always tell clients um, of mine who come to me, this is the next step. Never put your picture and a business card with your name. Because when you put your bit your picture and, uh, and your and your business card, you give your enemy um you give your enemy everything he need he need to hurt you. Especially um pictures in business. People can take your business card and hurt you. Um so this is the next tip. It's an old trick. That I see in America here a lot of people like to put the pictures and business cards, especially real estate agent. Let's say you have a next that's your agent because most agents know who who selling homes who's successful in that world most e agents let's say you're living in new york and um, agents popping and stuff and you give not your business card with pictures people can take your business cards and if they know what to do they can crash you when you look um they stop your business so this is the next thing to our still clients so don't give out business cards with pitch with your, with your with your picture um just put your name but don't put your, your picture you know, because you make things easy for people to destroy you. You know what I'm saying? Huh? So I always tell people that. Um, our next tip also too is to um, don't have females. This is the next one for females especially. Um, if you are a single female, don't have other single females come and sit on your bed or lie down on your bed. Or, or especially if... Um, Especially for, for, for a female who already have a husband. If you have a husband, you're married. Um, you don't have your, your sister who isn't married. Or a family member who's single. Come sit on your bed or lie down on your bed or leave them upstairs there. Sometimes family members, sometimes people are jealous. Sometimes people can leave certain things. They can could, they could sprinkle certain powders, certain things and anything. And have you and your husband fighting. Have you going crazy. People can do stuff like that. Also, too, is like it, um, if somebody is single and uh, have nobody in their life and you're married and stuff, sometimes that person also, when they come and sit in your bed, they can jinx you and can make your, your relationship crash. So all these different things. So do not have anybody come sit on your bed or, or lie down or pretend they're playing games. And then people come and sprinkle stuff. I had clients where I had a, um, a client of mine um, a couple of years ago. She had uh, my sister used to come every weekend when she come over and it was living right in the same development and she will leave her home and come to her sister and come lying down on her sister bed and um I will be doing certain things and and then when I did the reading I get to realize and she didn't believe it take a while 
um because her sister was trying to crash her business you know they had both of them had daycares and one sister my client was the successful one and the other half sister um my client turned her uh, half sister on um to how to open up a daycare and that's the half sister was jealous of my client and um they were they were throwing witchcraft at each other and they was throwing witchcraft um the other half sister was throwing witchcraft at my client but my client didn't believe it was her sister she think it was somebody else and i told her in the reading it was her sister and then we did some spiritual work we did some reversing work and stuff and then she realized things are happening to her so all what the half sister was doing to, to um to my client her sister um we reversed back everything and then things started um go haywire for the half sister and dads and but because i was telling her it was her but she didn't believe it but when we started doing the reversing work that's when she realized that oh my gosh her own sister wanted to crash her business because her sister would always call and say um um how much clients um how much um people you have this week how much children you have this week every week you'll be checking that's when you know um, most of the time your enemy or somebody trying to do something to you. i always tell you it's always somebody close to you it could be a sibling it could be especially half sisters half brothers um a lot of times be a lot of jealousy between half um siblings sometimes more than your real blood sometimes you know it could happen to anybody but a lot of time half sisters and half brothers um you know it's, it's crazy so be careful i'm um, having be careful having people come sleep on your bed as i say you gotta be careful especially if they're not married and things like that people could drop all kind of stuff and and crash your home you don't want that so that's our other tip also too you gotta watch um tip number five um watch way eating um especially when coming to caribbean men caribbean men are very greedy a lot of Caribbean men love the belly, so a lot of Caribbean men um, they love to eat, and a lot of them is get the, get the set tie up um, where the women might might put certain things in the food to trap the man to um, to stay stay with them. So sometimes men, um, this one is for men, especially um, especially some um, Caribbean men, even American men too. You know, you guys, some of you guys love all the belly, you know. So listen to your mothers, listen to your grandmothers. Don't just go eat from women, especially when coming to lasagna and things like that. And um, especially for people from the Caribbean who love to cook callaloo. Um, you guys know what I'm talking about. You know people can mix up all kind of stuff in callaloo, um, things like that. And um, you got to be careful with certain seasoning and stuff. You, don't, you never know what is to put in the food. So a lot of times I try to tell like my clients, especially this one is for men. Um, if you start dating a woman, never rush and um be careful especially when you just meet a woman and she just start wanting to offer you to cook that is a sign that is is it, 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 you have to pay attention most of the time if you meet a woman just out of the blue and she's starting to want to um to, for you to start um offering your food i want to bring you food be careful that's a trap um don't take that food most of the time that food will be trapped if somebody's really genuine they will cook the food in front of you and they will eat the same food if somebody's coming and bringing food for you just out of the blue like that and you didn't ask for food nah you know what i'm saying no? so you gotta be careful so um especially when coming to um caribbean men they love to eat to eat they love the belly you're not gonna find haitian you're not gonna find haitian men eating out you're not gonna find jamaican men just eating like that either Men from Tobago, Grenadian men like that, Saint Lucia, they, they much um, thing, but they find other men like Trinidadian men. Some of them greedy, some of them love love the belly, so they will get trapped into that kind of stuff half of the time. But if you listen to your mom, your grandmother, and um, especially people from the south, you know, know especially people who Creole, um, you know straight up they're not having that. So um, definitely, those are the five tips. As I say, watch where you're eating food. Do not um, put your picture in no business card watch your dna um and having any girlfriends anybody come over in your home um they could use that and destroy you especially send you crazy um that's happened a lot of times um i'm just bringing awareness giving you heads up and um and don't let any females come and sit on your bed and things like that and um watch me taking pictures and um putting any pictures and business cards this is all good you can crash your business and do not lend money to people who you're going competition with let them sign a contract and um what we eating and peace love and blessings and you'll be hearing more tips from me coming soon and um i'm not going to details but i'll just give you some tips and that's it so peace love like subscribe share 
and we hear more from you soon. Bye.